Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim we'll see the remaining slides okay first is a positive termination first is a positive termination so what is this positive termination actually it identifies the stakeholders needs stakeholders are the owners their needs like for example a customer long term relationship what are the long term relationships actually it means that a building up of relationships building up of relationships with the customer building up and uh, with your customers like to to gain customer to gain customer loyalty yes then this long term uh, relationships can boost your sales can boost your sales also increase the customers increase the customers it can also increase the customers and improve the overall business strategy or the business strategy yes then next is supplier and contractor relationships supply and contractor relationship actually it is like a, there's a link between the contractor there's a link so link between the uh, uh, contractor and project management with suppliers usually it based on mutual interest they are based on mutual interest in completing the project in completing the or in completion of project on time very very important within the budget within budget so this i mean there are some share this also develops a relationship with the suppliers and it they they, they get sanctioned from the contractors and even for non performing tasks so it is different but here mainly uh, it is a link between um, uh, these customers and uh, i mean the, the suppliers and contractors for in base of mutual interest for completing the project on time with budget within the budget so they also show interest to develop a positive relationship with suppliers backed up by the contract sanctions even for non performing tasks okay then project personnel project personnel placement it is a, as a provides you two different ways to contact uh, contact your um, uh, personal placements like uh, first is planning and scheduling first is planning then you have scheduling okay so planning and scheduling based on the rules based on the rules given to you based on the rules then uh, we then assigning employees to the process without previously specified rules and as and directly as then also uh, this and uh, this this is actually as a personal it is also acts as a personal it acts as a personal resource like for example uh, based on the rules then assigning employees assigning employees to a process without without previously specified rules so that is direct that is directly as a personal uh, resource it acts as a personal resource then then you have rewards and recognitions means like giving rewards giving some Uh, motivation to the employees and uh, like for example this type of program employer can like it helps to uh, develop good company objectives good they are able to work towards the goals of the company and also they show uh, this is sort of showing appreciation to the they sort of showing appreciation sort of showing appreciation to for their efforts for their efforts that are necessary for performing the is necessary for performing a better activity in workplace it gives happy employee it gives happier employees the next how you like um, maximize this positive close out so it talks about ceremony it talks about ceremony so before that what is this close out close out is actually this close out close out is actually a um, key it is actually a key to success to your financial success to your financial success 
because it allows you because it allows you to receive final payments very very important okay then we have details like ceremony then you have uh, shared lessons to learn then good documentation keep uh, publication so this talks about ceremony means conducting some functions conducting some good functions then share lessons to learn some training programs yeah then keep good documentation keep good record then publication means in journals Pub publish your work in journals publish publish work in good journals yes so it gives positive close out then we have um, negative termination negative termination is actually how to identify your outcomes processes and create control strategies first it talks about performance failure performance failure performance is what or is the performance performance is defined as a measurement of time it is a measurement of time of work so measurement of time of work it is a measurement of time of work and the system related work accomplished within the it is the system related work it is a system related it is system related yeah uh, work accomplished with respect to time and time the time required to complete a task or job is based on the past performance so time is time is required so time is required to complete the task to complete task or job based on past performance okay so then shifts in customer um, expression so what is shifts shifts talks about um, the overtime for example we have a day only 8 8 hours per day as one shift so it, sometimes you may have extra shifts 8 hours normal 8 hours and more than that like customer expectations like you have like good quality service fair pricing quality service price then also the modern customers have much expectations like they should have they should be as it as proactive services then interactions then connected experiences as through the i mean connected experiences across channels so they want more expectations like good um, proactive 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 service then interactions so these are the main things you take into consideration when you're dealing with customer expectations then process process actually it talks about customer relations management issues and personal issues so this issues actually what is this issue management issues mainly customer relations how you how you develop the loyalty of customer because because again the customer wants to buy the product he'll come back to you for buying the same product when you have a good reputation and a very good uh, um, a very good uh, service uh, after sales after sales services that does all this warranty and guarantee then good feedback good after sales customer service so all these helps in building up good customer relationships then you have issues in management is management issues it talks about the organization policy and identifies the problems it identifies the problems it identifies problems then identifies problems then identifies policies then it talks about uh, the trends it talks about the trends it talks about the trends of future okay so these are management issues then personal issues personal issues like it can uh, it is very uh, should we take a take care on this personal issues because it can damage your business so very very important it can damage the business it can damage business so you should keep an utter care on this issue if dealt improperly if dealt improperly if dealt improperly so and also like harassment uh, i mean harassment and uh, violence so all this violence we should be taken care of. harassment okay then create and uh, control strategies create control strategies means actually what is the strategy strategy is mainly like mainly to gather so i actually say says it understands uh, the customer vision of success identify the gap to develop the creative way to close the gap so this strategy is actually talks about um, data gathering it talks about data gathering data gathering then analytical analytical uh, process 
then how to predict it's actually to predict is used to predict it is used to predict yeah understand and influence based on time and cost so these are the main control strategies then uh, mainly talks about to understand the vision what is this vision vision is actually a road map uh, indicating the what company wants to be by setting a defined direction uh, for the future growth so it gives it's actually acts as a road map for future growth okay then identify the gap what is this gap gap is actually um custom expectations and perceptions so it is actually a difference between custom expectations and perception so it is actually uh, difference between customer expectations and perception custom expectation and perception so in terms of project management a gap means delivering best service quality based on customers expectations and needs so it's giving best service quality based on customer expectations expectation and expectations and needs okay then to develop a creative way to develop a creative way to close the path what is this creative way just like you set aside a time to brainstorm the ideas set aside an equal amount of time to research like learn how to tune your uh, creative Uh, ideas then consume materials similar to what you hope to create also watch interviews with the new creators research how other executed similar projects uh, are done and and see how they are able to manage those uh, challenges so develop a creative creativity so brainstorm the ideas so brainstorm ideas then learn uh, then you have to uh, dedicate dedicate some time for research on materials new materials new materials new ideas then watch watch new methods on interviews new methods on uh, as interviews in tv then of creators and develop some new ideas develop new challenges then you have um, negative termination negative termination negative termination is actually is to establish affordability like difficult to come up with the funding if you, for example uh, you are not able to do give uh, funds on time like uh, it's a project means it's not an ability to recommend uh, to be recommended within the government's current or future budget so it is I mean, affordability is actually it's a uh, like ability to be recommended within the government's current and future budget so it should be current and future budget so it should be within within at the end of the project so more expensive uh, to correct problem at the end of the project so it should be much expensive to correct problem at the end of the problem. like for example if you have some uh, if you spend more much expensive means spent more okay to correct the problem at the end of the project, so it will be very very expensive so it will be very expensive it may lead to termination then determine the reasonable cost determine the reasonable cost determine the reasonable cost then you should have a um, good customer then you have I mean if you have a uh, changing customer attitudes is also like uh, it is actually a, it's a person's belief it is a person's belief uh, feelings about feelings and behavior then um, towards the business towards business so this is all changing attitude sudden sudden changing attitude means sudden yes then keeping project promises you should keep the promises and uh, keeping uh, like customer entitlement what is this entitlement as it refers to the 
privileges granted to the users when the accounts are first created and during the life of the accounts so entitlements give some offers something like that offers or giving privileges to the users okay so you should maintain till the end when the offer is given it should be a full time so maintain that promise then premature premature so premature termination premature termination is actually um, there are some causes given over here causes for premature and also facing a potential hostile and facing then dealing with anti termination first it is uh, strategic strategic uh, is uh, cause for the premature uh, termination strategic changes strategic changes actually it is talks about like um, uh, competitors so if there is a competitors based on the price raw material then talks about the uh, swat analysis swat analysis strength weakness opportunities threats so all these are the strategic changes then market changes it is a fluctuation market changes usually it is a fluctuation it might be uh, uneven it might be uneven as not stable always so fluctuation market changes in conditions fluctuates always fluctuates then uh, out of money out of money is shortage if there is shortage of funds shortage of funds then out of time crosses the time schedule then it creates problem to the project then facing a potential hostile environment what is this hostile environment it is exists like one's behavior within a workplace it creates an environment that is difficult uh, uncomfortable for another person to work in due to discrimination so it is like a hmm, person's behavior person's behavior Mm, yes, person's behavior in workplace bad. So it is uh, very bad. So it creates a uh, uneasy feeling for the others to work in the environment. Then it leads to professional and organizational needs. Professional is the greatest advantage to taking initiative in the workplace, as we gain more skills and knowledge about uh, about the company, and also in process. becomes uh, an in process and he becomes more valuable employee so he becomes a more a valuable employee like professional needs is the um, professional and organizational needs so professional and organizational needs actually it is the persons with high skill and knowledge high skill and knowledge okay so uh, with this high skill and knowledge he is able to get more uh, good fame and name to the company but sometimes due to some problems there might be issues in the uh, in developing those skills and knowledge and when uh, it is not used in a very effective manner then product and process needs a product is what a product is a, a tangible delivery it is a tangible it's a tangible delivery so it can be sold either to the customer uh, used to fulfill the it is sold to the customer to fulfill the needs it is sold to fulfill the needs it is sold to fulfill the needs of the customer uh, so needs of the company and process what is this process process is actually a systematic way of doing things so process is process is systematic way of doing things a systematic way of doing things so there is process then personal personal needs you know it it depends upon your uh, comfortness how you work towards your i mean how you work in the workplace and environment then deal with anti termination anti termination termination is uh, sudden there is sudden change sudden uh, uh, like uh, sending out the employee out of the company so deals with all this and suddenly you can just accept the employee so like that it deals with anti termination anti means withdraw 